There are so many different causes of shock that we have to consider when a patient is tachycardic and hypotensive. And while we often think about sepsis, we need to keep that differential broad. So listen in while Vanessa Cardi discusses a rural medicine case diving into a less common etiology of shock, but one that we really have to be aware of. A 70-year-old gentleman with a history of severe chronic kidney disease, a baseline creatinine of 250 millimoles in Canadian units, or about 2.83 in the U.S., presented with malaise. He was bradycardic and hypotensive, and he had weakness, worsening peripheral edema, and anuria. His wife said he'd been feeling unwell for a few days with a bit of a cough and maybe some mild nausea, but otherwise there was nothing really specific on history. An ECG was done at triage, and it showed that he was definitely bradycardic, with a heart rate of 30, in what seemed to be a junctional rhythm. A chest x-ray was done and showed some mild pulmonary edema with no frank consolidation or infiltrates, and the bedside ultrasound revealed a nice plump IVC, certainly consistent with volume overload.